Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, July 11th, 2012. I am astrologer David Palmer here to illuminate the collective consciousness. So another fired up day, but this is a two part day. The moon is going to switch from Aries into Taurus later in the day, but we're still ramped up. We're still ramped up about this new beginning, about this new start. And we have some interesting things happening today. I mean, number one, remember, we are funneling our life through our emotions right now. Are you emotionally happy or you are emotionally sad? This is all about aligning in a secure and safe place. And we do have a lot of crazy things happening. Mars now is at four degrees Libra. It is now really starting to oppose Uranus and starting to square Pluto. This is all about crazy changes. It's all about moving forward, but it's about in that crazy fashion. So things are really picking up really unexpect the unexpected and even though we really want things to happen as smooth as they can expect these crazy things to happen but it's actually the right thing to happen so if craziness is happening right now it's starting to build up throughout this week and into next week we are talking about some crazy waters but these are crazy waters which are going to get us on the right course and today it's all about emotionally being ready for your start knowing emotionally where you want to go and with this, when the winds hit here in the next week and when all the craziness starts, you can honestly know while you're moving this ship and letting the craziness happen, you know exactly where you are going. Now, the North Node is now starting to square Neptune, exact degree. This truly means to step over any fears that your greatest imagination can come true. The universe had Jupiter square Neptune and now it's having the North Node it was all about first off getting the idea set and the facts straight of what your dreams are, what your imaginations are. Now with the North Node here, it's time to see the big picture. It's time to let all of those skeptics out there know that the craziest, most biggest imagination dreams can truly happen. You'll, you'll have them, I'm sure, right now in your life. Believe me, I have skeptics hit me up every day here on YouTube. But the North Node here is wanting us to see the big picture. Even though Jupiter and Venus is where all the facts are, where all this information is, the truth of the matter is, is we are stepping over a fear to the perfect place, which is to see a wider horizon. And this is truly in our dreams, our imagination. So if there's a fear, or especially in your mind thinking that your greatest, wildest dreams can happen, I'm here to tell you that they can. And the reason why this is happening before the waters and the, and the craziness happens here with this T-square of Mars, Pluto, and Uranus, which we're talking about some pretty heavy planets here that make things happen, okay? The universe wants to show you to get over fears that your greatest imagination is true. On the other side of this fog and this crazy storm that's going to come our way, that's going to literally pull us out of the old and really push us in this new world, is that our greatest imagination really can come true. And it's time to step over that fear. It's time to see the big picture and not be focused on the little things of life. It's not about the facts, really, guys. Even though we are seeing the facts in our life, that north node is in Sag, and it's only two more degrees left before it goes into Scorpio. And this is about really starting to see there are more options out there and that your greatest, wildest dreams can truly come true. I can honestly say they're coming true in my life right now, and I'm not fearful of them. I create imaginary things every day, and they happen to come true. I really want to live in my imagination. Reality is changing to be more on that crazy imaginable side and really this also comes down to spirituality it is true spirituality actually can be part of this new age the invisible the unseen actually can come true so this is a very great day when the moon slips into Taurus today this is gonna make us feel real nice it's actually gonna make us feel nice and settled and it's gonna make a nice try over or sextile over to the moon tomorrow but today just keep that amped up fired up go mentality let's go let's move because this is the prep emotionally right before the storm sit and good thing that the sun in cancer will be at the later degrees of cancer so this is actually the last part of our emotions we need to have strong emotions we need to feel secure in the unseen we need to feel secure in the unpredictable and we need to feel secure and safe emotionally about knowing that we are going into our new self our new persona this is a wonderful place. And remember, you still have Mercury here stopping to have you process how you wanna love yourself. What are your passions? 
we can now collect and start to gather our passions mentally and our, our attitude mentally, our commitments that we want to make, the new attitude we are bringing in, and let our dreams truly happen. So if you have the wildest, most imaginable dream possible, I suggest you really put it out there to the universe and make that order because it is coming with the crazy storms that are coming ahead. Don't, don't be fi afraid of it, seriously. This is a time where you make the move. You make the move. It's time to pull the queen out, everybody. We've been moving these palm pieces forever. You can't be afraid. If you've ever played chess, it's always a little hairy moving out the queen, right? Because you're like, I don't want to lose the queen. You're not going to lose the queen because we are using it to go exactly where we want to go. Go to my website, david-palmer.com. Click up at the store. I got my 15-minute readings. I also have my one-on-one -on -one sessions, my MP3s, and my Astro Coaching. Check it out, david-palmer.com. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.